Hey, was... you like my song? You like my song? Like, you know, honestly, I could turn it off. You know what I mean? All right, we're back with another Led Zeppelin song. We're checking out Stairway to Heaven live at Madison Square Garden. Let's get into it. Voice is so interesting, cause like the way he's do, like the way he's performing is just like she gets what she can fall. Like it's just so like he makes interesting choices. I would not expect. You know what I mean? It's almost like he doesn't give a crap about the music that's playing. He just sings it the way he wants, and the music like follows him. <laughs> Feel me? It's very like yeah, peculiar. Like very peculiar. Okay, what is the Stairway to Heaven business about? He's that the lady is the Stairway to Heaven? I think so. I think he's, I like, describing her. That, this is, like, like, how he feels about her. Yeah, like, basically, she is literally, like, the closest thing to heaven. I wonder if this is, like, uh, like a love band or something, you know? Maybe, or love era, you know what I mean? Like, this... 60s and 70s. These are the kind of songs that people back then played in their bedroom, you know what I mean? Like... Growing True, up, I'm sure. Like I used to always call R and B like baby making music for like my parents. Right. Like for their generation, they would listen like R and B and stuff like that. And when right. this is that for that era. Wait, what's the baby making music modern day? Um, I don't know. Someone <laughs> in our comments said they like made a baby to Eminem or something. Like modern Eminem. Yeah, remember that comment? No. I I will spare oh, you the details, but someone, interesting. Remember about catching a cramp? Oh, and okay. they, they were playing Eminem, so help them push through the cramp. Basically, okay, okay. so I don't know. If people listen to modern day. Oh, 
Okay, so what do you think so far? I mean, he's so peculiar. Just like super, like kind of just like moving his hands all weird and like pushing his chest out, hands on his, and it's so Rocking effortless. Rocking from hip to hip. Yeah, hip to hip, and it's so it's effortless. Different. Like he'll start talking in the middle of the song and then singing again, and I mean, I really like this band. These camera angles are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> like under him when he's like, <laughs> but I mean, I really, I really, really like it. I really like this band. I mean, it's just like, I could just like, I feel like it just like, it's like a song. This specific song would take you somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to, if you're like in your head a lot, I feel like you play this and then you'd be like thinking about something and it just like transport you to another world or something. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a very interesting sound. Yeah, it's, it's very different. I want to hear it like acoustic too. Like with just like a, I don't know. I don't know. I want to hear it acoustic though. You know what I mean? Mmm. Or a cover of it. Did anybody do a cool cover of it? I'm sure someone's done a cover. I want to see a cover. A really good cover. Okay, now it makes sense why that drink. Oh my gosh. I wish, like, okay, long story short, I got this drink at Barton G in Miami, which is a bougie restaurant that's really expensive. And I only went once, and it's like, I went, I don't know, we went like around my birthday time. Anyway, I got this drink, and it was like Stairway to Heaven. And they put this video of this like girl dancing, and it's literally got stairs, and there's like smoke. And it's like Barton G is like a whole production restaurant type place. But anyway, um, now I have context. I don't even know. They might have been playing this song. They probably were playing this song. Probably. I don't, it had no, like, I had no reference point. Because, I mean, it was a restaurant, so it was loud, but the video was, like, on the, you know. But, oh, yeah, I don't think it had music. Yeah, I don't think it had music. But it was, like, a stairway and, like, all this stuff. And now I'm like, <laughs> I need to go back. <laughs> I need to go back. Go Switch to, to original, please. I promise. Then you can go back and listen to live versions. Right. Um, I mean, it's kind of too late. What do you mean? To switch the original. What's the original? Like the studio? Like that's not a live version. I Nothing love about it. watching a man with no shirt on sway from hip to hip and move his hands. <laughs> like it makes me like a song more. You know what I'm saying? I'm being Fair serious. Enough. Like that doesn't make me like, ooh, this song's great. Ooh, look at him with his shirt. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> it just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. Like that's what I'm saying. The camera angles are killing me. <laughs> if if it was the original I like version, it. I probably would like it more. True, because you wouldn't be distracted. Because then I would just hear the sound, and be like, oh, that sounds good. But now. Yeah. It's, just a little weird. It's for me. a little distracting. <laughs> I like it so much. Like honestly, I'm so glad we. I was literally thinking I'd be kind of bored with just the sound because it's slower, you know. But you like the sound of it. I do, but it's like the performance adds so much to me. You know what I mean? This reminds me of like um, Prince. I've not really watched a lot of Prince. Like I don't think I've watched a whole song all the way through, but I've seen clips of like performances like throughout history like compilation videos and he was very like they said you know he's very bisexual and just like different energy and like that was part of his like entertainment value you know what I mean I feel like this takes me there with like sort of like I don't know he's just hitting notes of like femininity and masculinity and like it's very odd and eccentric and artsy and I really dig the like the artistic like you know <laughs> we want to see Brad's face to the live version. Oh, <laughs> They're is this enjoying a setup? it. setup? Is that what this is? Best performance ever. Yeah, I'm so... I mean, it's like he... It's just like he, he just... It's so effortless. All right, I'm going to start acting like this. <laughs> you like it so much? I'm going to start. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's not get ahead yep, of ourselves. Yep. We're going to wake up tomorrow and be like, good morning, Lex. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Let's say he liked to wear the blouses of the women he slept with. Yeah, I get those vibes. Him or Prince? Some people were talking about Prince. Oh, I feel like girls wear uh, their guys' clothes, you know? 
Right. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I can appreciate, it's like, it's not my life per se, you know what I mean? It's not my, like, personal thing, but I <laughs> love to watch it. You gotta get a pair of those pants, Brad. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you ready? Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> the angle i just got what you were saying i just noticed that yeah i did not see That's that what I'm saying. It like it's hard to just evaluate the song <laughs> like, I did not, me, you know what i mean i didn't see it at <laughs> all at all it's like I hey was, you like my song you like my song like you know honestly i could turn it off you know what i mean like i could do the song without the video you know <laughs> now I'm just look off to the corner <laughs> every time i do this angle i'm like oh look a pink light <laughs> I was watching like his hand gestures and stuff. I totally missed it, but I get it. Wow. Yeah. Well, you got six more minutes. <laughs>
good solo. Yeah, solo was cool. It wasn't too high pitched, like then, you know what I mean? It wasn't. No, I, if it was remastered, it might be though. I don't know. Ooh. It didn't seem too high pitched to me. It just sound. I just love. Like yeah, it was all. It was like. It was so, oh, that was it. I mean, I feel like, I I don't know, we focus on singers so much a lot of times, you know what I mean? Like, it's easy to, like, focus on the singing, but, man, the music, the band is so good. That was a great, and his guitar was so strange. It was, like, really wide. No, it had two things, like, it two, had two, whatever they're called. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah, yeah, it was, like, a double guitar. Ooh, oh, oh, it's, like, how do they, how do you think of that? How does that work? How do you, and does he play both? Right. For every, you know what I mean? Or does he just use one for this song, maybe use another for a different song? Right. And then I'm like, guessing they'd be tuned differently. Like maybe they sound differently or something. I don't know. Right. And then is it like uh, a riff, like kind of just in the moment? Or is it like rehearsed and like it's like certain oh, I don't notes think it's in the moment. I think that's like the song. But it's so complex. <laughs> that's how they are. Oh, man. I love electric guitar. Okay. Wow. Yep, Led Zeppelin is definitely in my top ten now. Definitely. So overall, what'd you think? Killed it. I thought, I mean, <laughs> the angle got a lot more intense after you uh, mentioned that. No, like it I, was the same. I hadn't noticed it, though. I was watching the hand and, like, the hair flipping and the hip, you know what I mean? But uh, I felt like it added. Like, it was definitely in the sort of realm of, like... It may have added for some people, but if you picture like the audience that made the song for it wasn't me. True. You know what I mean? Definitely not. So I'm not saying like it's a bad song or anything, but I probably didn't pay as close attention to the lyrics and stuff as I probably should have. I don't know. Should we check out the lyrics? And just like kind of put me off? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not mean, anything with the song. I just feel like I'm not the target demographic right, for right. this song. Right. Hey, fair enough. Yeah, at least you checked it out. You know what I mean? You gave it 10 minutes. You gave 10 minutes of your life today. Okay, so in, on Genius, it says Stairway to Heaven is one of Led Zeppelin's most famous recordings. It tells the story of a greedy woman who is overly optimistic about her unpromising future. What? <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh. The song resonates with young listeners opening up a door to a different realm of spirituality and transporting them into a more mystical view of life. The vagueness of the lyrics also allows listeners to interpret the song in their own way Adding to the magic of mystery of the adding to the magic and mystery of the track. It was definitely a mysterious song. So it's a little vague, okay, and it's about a scandalous woman. There's a lady who's sure that sure all that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed with the word, she can get what she came for. Ooh, oh! I'm glad we checked these lyrics out. 
Yeah, so we did. I did need a lyric video. I thought he was saying the woman's so beautiful that she's like a stairway to heaven. Right, me too. That's what I thought he was saying. But I can't. I can never like make out the lyrics when people like stretch out their words and do all this singing stuff. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not saying they shouldn't do it, but I need lyrics when they do all that. There's a sign on the you wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a sign on the wall, but she make she wants to be sure because she knows sometimes words have two meanings. In a tree by the brook, there's a songbird who sings. Sometimes all of the thoughts are misgiven. Dang, so it is kind of like mystical, like sort of open to interpretation. That's really yep, interesting. I, guess so. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know.